What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's having a good weekend. Um, I am back. I sure appreciate the kind words from everybody just on my last video that I made. Um, just want to start with that real quick. Thank you so much for everybody that uh, commented, um, texted, emailed. I sure appreciate it. Um, I think that's the one thing I, I really uh, treasure the most out of you know, doing the YouTube channels, just the friendships and the connections that you make. So I sure appreciate everybody for reaching out. Um, if you didn't watch my last video, um, I just kind of talked briefly about how uh, I just went over to see my parents um, last week. And uh, as I was pulling up to their house, I was kind of getting towards their neighborhood and I just saw a lot of smoke coming from the area. I saw a fire truck drive by and uh, I pulled up and uh, sure enough, it ended up being my parents' house that was... Uh, on fire and um, you know my parents are gonna be displaced for quite some time thankfully nobody got hurt um, everything's okay and and uh, you know we're, we're moving on everybody's doing well and they've got good insurance and stuff so everything's gonna work out but uh, it's definitely kind of a shocking um, kind of a traumatic thing to happen upon so um, thank you everybody that just you know that reached out and uh, shared you know comments and emails and texts and stuff like I said but really appreciate it um, thank you so much. So I, I just wanted to start and thank everybody right out the gate for that. Um, I'm just going to do a pickups video today. Um, I ended up finding out uh, today's a state holiday out here. And uh, I found out Thursday, literally at the end of the day, I was I was at work and I was talking to one of my buddies. And I was like, hey, you know, you want, you know, can you help me on this thing I'm working on tomorrow? And he's like, well, dude, nobody's working tomorrow. What are you talking about? And I, you know, realized, oh, well, it's the state holidays on Saturday, so we get Friday off, and I was like, ah, sweet. I didn't know what, you know, if we were going to get, I, I didn't even think about it. I've just been so busy at work, like, I hadn't even really crossed my mind. So, um, it's kind of an awesome way to find out that we have a long weekend when I was already planning on working Friday. So, uh, so I had Friday off and um, decided to go swing by uh, my local card shop, and uh, while I was there, I was just kind of looking around, hitting the dollar boxes, and... Uh, uh, rummaging through there, I picked up a few football cards and uh, one of the, I'll just share what I got out of the dollar box here. I'm a sucker for the value boxes, probably like many of you. Got this Michael Irvin, I thought this was pretty awesome and then I turned it over and I thought it was even more awesome. So numbered out of 50, scored that out of the dollar box, really happy about that. Um, got an Isaac Bruce rookie card, I did not have a rookie card at all of Isaac Bruce, so i um, happy to get a rookie card of him in my collection. This one was a bummer, and I just barely, before I turned the camera on, realized this, because I was really pumped to find this card. Look at the shine on that Jerome Bettis. That is awesome. And then you get it in the light, and it's like, oh, you can see that crease below the Pacific. So, oh, bittersweet. I, I was really excited to find that card, and now I'm bummed. So, oh, I'll just put it in a binder or something, but... I hate when that happens. Um, and then the last football card I picked up, I got this nice, some more 90s shine. Love 90s cards. Deion Sanders, even though I despise the Dallas Cowboys, but, uh, you know, got to gotta take some cool cards when you see them, though. This was a cool one I found. It's not in the best shape. It's got kind of a bad corner on it there. You can see that bottom right, but it's a, it's a gold foil Chase Utley Jimmy Rollins. Uh, you can see Jay rolls up in the front. Chase Utley's like way back there in the back in that weird foily outline. You can't really see it very well, but it was numbered out of 125. And as a Phillies fan, obviously, I thought, you know what? I got to get that. I like Jimmy Rollins a lot and Chase Utley. Numbered out of 125 for a buck. Like I say, not perfect condition, but I'll take it. So, wish I could have that same attitude. I can handle like a bad corner, but the crease is like, ah, oh, creases bug me. So, I wish I could say the same for the Jerome Bettis, but uh, uh, I'll get over it. So, I just barely found that crease. I'm really bummed. It's just kind of bummed me out now. I was really excited to get that card. This one was cool. Hakeem Olajuwon, this guy was just awesome to watch. Even though I was, you know, as a Jazz fan, we were on the receiving end of some butt whoopings from this guy. Um, he was so good. Um, numbered out of 5,000, so not super rare or anything like that, but, you know, sweet card, and for a buck, I had to, had to take it home. This was a cool one. The, uh, SP Premier Die Cut rookie card of Eddie Jones. Um, that guy was awesome. He made some all-star teams. He was a really good player, and, uh, I wanted to pick that one up as well, and while I'm on the Lakers, I'll show this one here. Ty Lu Stadium Club rookie card. Uh, whenever I see Ty Lu or think of Ty Lu. 
Um, oh, all right, that's not going to stay up there. Anyway, I think of him getting stepped over by Allen Iverson in Game 1 of the 2001 Finals when Iverson dropped like 50, uh, and the Sixers won that first game. He hit that three and like stepped over Lou. It was pretty awesome. Uh, and then the Lakers like reeled off four straight and <laughs> closed out the series. But it was cool when it happened, and Ty Lue's a good coach, and I didn't have a rookie card of his. Um, another one that I picked up was this Chauncey Billups sweet deal. I don't know if this is rookie year or not, but, uh, Boston Celtics, obviously it's an early career one of his. This one was cool. Love this card. Uh, I mean, it's numbered like, oh yeah, one of like 74 and a half thousand. So it's not like it's rare by any means. They kind of try to give you the appearance that it's rare, but I just love that photo. Fab Five era, Michigan. As a 90s kid, I donned the black socks when I played church basketball because of the Fab Five. We all thought they were awesome. Um, got a couple cards of this guy just from my jazz collection, uh, Grayson Allen. He was, he was only on the jazz for a year. They traded him. He was part of the Mike Conley trade. He didn't really do much while he was on the jazz, but uh, he's turning out to be a pretty good little player, though. He's uh, doing well in Memphis. And then I picked up a few Carmelones I don't think I had. I hope I didn't have. I do have the uh, bad habit of thinking I don't have a card, and then I buy them, and I go home, and I'm like, oh, I already had that. So I got a few that I was pretty certain I did not have. So we will find out when I go hit the binders. Um, well, the Carmelone binder, and put that stuff away. And then while I was at the shop, shout out to Shane over at Shoebox Legends. I was uh, mentioning before on my channel, I was wanting to get a little bit more into the hockey uh, card side of things i don't uh you know totally new at it i don't know a ton about um you know the modern stuff and all that but uh i saw that they had some uh affordable boxes over in the corner of the shop and they had one that i wanted to take a shot at and uh shane was kind enough he's a hockey guru and so he was kind enough to you know kind of give me the rundown on on some of the some of the players i'll just kind of tip this so i picked up this 91 92 upper deck hockey box so uh, when this video is over I plan on opening that um, I'm just dying to rip some packs I haven't opened packs forever it feels like and um, and I can't even find modern hockey in retail around here it's been so hard to find so um, you know I want to find some upper deck and go for some young guns and uh, open open some of that but I just I can't even find it around here so I got to go with the old school stuff, so we'll see if we can go find a Peter Forsberg rookie out of this uh, upper deck hockey uh, out of here. There is a, I believe, Tamu Solani, and there's some other good rookies in there as well. So, so we're going to go hunt some of those guys uh, when this video is over. Um, I do have two more pickups really fast I'd like to share, and then we'll wrap this up so it's not going to be too long and boring for you. Sportscollectors.net. Uh, I love that website. If you do TTM, um, it is well worth the yearly subscription cost. I cannot recommend them enough. Their site is awesome. I've been on there for a lot of years and I bought this card, Key Brian Hayes. Obviously this is like an in-person autograph and my understanding is back in the day, he used to be really a good signer and being out West, I don't ever see any minor league affiliates for the pirates. And, uh, so I, I've never been able to try to get him in person. And he looks like a fun player. Looks like he's just really good. Good kid. And uh, a guy had this uh, pro debut of Hayes. And I did not think I had a Brian Hayes auto uh, at the time. I have since found that I did have a Bowman one that I must have gotten a trade or something. But um, I bought this uh, off a of seller. But I do love him with the light background. The, the graph really shows up good. So I look forward to sending that off to uh, get slabbed up. And then another eBay purchase showed up today, and I got this. This is from 2001 Topps Collection, Michael Vick, rookie card. You'll see it's got the Topps Collection stamp up above the Falcons logo. Um, so I'm a big Topps fan. I wish that uh, Topps had the license for, um, really for the other three major sports. I'd love to still be able to get Topps football cards and basketball cards and, you know, and even hockey, but... Um, you know, Panini and Upper Deck kind of have all those licenses, but I didn't have a Vic rookie card at the time. And uh, and if I can get a player's Tops rookie, I like to get their Tops one. That's kind of my favorite brand. So um, I picked that up uh, on an eBay auction, was able to win that at the last minute. So that showed up today. So 
Happy that I can have a Michael Vick rookie card in my collection now. If you guys watch my channel, you'll know I love to get rookie cards of star players and Hall of Famers. So um, that's about it for now. Thank you again for everybody for watching. And uh, I am going to go open this Upper Deck hockey box and start uh, building up some hockey cards. So I do have some more stuff coming in. I've got a big bulk football box that I purchased off of... Uh, Sports collectors. I'm, I'm hoping I want to find some bulk hockey somehow because I want to get into the TTM hockey game and uh, maybe put some sets together and just really dive into hockey. So I don't know. I'm trying to find some like big, large, flat rate seller hockey bulk deal or something, but uh, um, that's affordable. But anyway, we'll see. We'll cross that bridge. Hopefully, we'll get there. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to relish in my little teeny puny hockey collection that I do have. Um, and a large part of that will be this hockey upper deck box here. So uh, thank you everybody for watching. Hope everybody has a great rest of your weekend. Be safe and we'll see you on the next video.